Hello my soccer universe. Well, the Euro draw happened yesterday evening and it caused quite a stir, especially here in Austria. Going into the draw, I said for Austria, the worst possible group can be France, Netherlands, Italy. Well, I got it two thirds of the way right. It was not an easy draw. The mood in Austria after that draw in general is a little bit either being shocked by the tough draw or a little bit doesn't really matter. We have to play anyway the tough opponents if you want to go some somewhere. And I actually fall a little bit into the second category or the one, you know, let's go, let, let, let's go. We get better opponents. And um, before we go deeper into the draw, Austria does play better against opponents that are a little bit more on the attack, not the ones that see it back. So in that sense, it might not have been so bad to have uh, good opponents right there. But yeah, um, the other thing I have to say about the draw, and when we look at it in more detail, you know, I crunched all the numbers now. Uh, that, that's why it took me a little bit longer to get this video out. Crunched all the numbers, and also because of all the snow that you have to work with. <laughs> it actually was a dungeon here until I cleaned a little bit of snow off the window to have it a little bit nicer looking in here, but you know, that's beside the point. No, uh, but the other main point is that, yeah, the Austria group is probably one of the two groups, and but the other one, group B, is of course much, much bigger, kind of a real big hitting group. I don't want to say group of death because best third place teams go in and there's a clear outsider as well. I also want to hint a little bit, it's kind of surprising if you, I mean, it's easy to say that the loser of the draw is Albania. But if you look at the other groups, you would think that Spain, Italy, Croatia will also consider themselves loser. Uh, also a little spoiler alert, actually not quite mathematically, it doesn't really work out this way. So just a few interesting observations right there that I want to get into as well. Uh, actually, I want to start with another draw. I mean, I only made a short video on that, but we also had the draw for the playoffs, uh, which basically meant of the three League B teams are uh, Finland, Ukraine and Iceland, who will go in path A. And we see the draw, you see it right here. It was Finland that have to go to Wales. And then we also had the home field advantage and Wales again got lucky. Already for the playoffs for, for the World Cup, they got a home field advantage throughout this time as well. So Wales are hosting a path A Finland and then they face the winner from Poland, Estonia, most likely Poland because Estonia yeah, just got, got, got in uh, because they're the best uh, League D team and enough League A teams have uh, qualified. But between Wales and Poland, it's a relatively even one who will advance and that will also be important because we will see in what group they will play later on. Then uh, in path B, the also the um, home field advantage was flipped. We have Bosnia facing Ukraine. Uh, and actually this might have been a good draw for Ukraine because then they will host, although they are really not hosting because it's an, uh, they cannot host home games, but they will host the winner between Israel and Iceland, which I think either one of them, they will be favored again. In case of Israel, it might also be neutral ground A again. So there will be two neutral ground uh, games. Ukraine should be considered the favorite in this path easily. And I'm very happy. I, well, I would be very happy if Ukraine should qualify. And then League C was already qual uh, determined from before. And it also happened that uh, this time the top seed Georgia will have a home home advantage throughout, which all they had for the last years as well. And then they lost to North Macedonia. Um, while they have now the advantage, probably on the back of Kvartskelia uh, playing for them, I think the Greeks have a really, really good, good chance uh, of advancing. So it's between the two of them. If we look overall, the winners and losers of the draw, you see, I mean, it's the one that have home, 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 the matches are the big winners, I mean, Wales, Ukraine and Georgia. Um, and then uh, Poland hoped for home, home advantage, Greece, Tito and so got Israel. Uh, the games will be played uh, early March. Uh, oh, no, not early March, in March. Uh, you see here um, the schedule are uh, all more or less the same time, only Georgia against Luxembourg is kind of a little appetizer for the rest. So looking forward to these, um, I think there will be in interesting games for sure. And after that draw, we also had kind of confirmed now the new, and this is also pre-draw, favorites with France, England, Portugal, Spain, Belgium. Just have that in mind up top. Uh, you also see none of the playoff teams were in there as well. 
lot of preamble let's go to to a draw you see here again the pots for the draw so i said already in my last long form v v video where one could argue the pot two definitely not the second strongest in in there uh it is very very uneven and i really do not like what uefa are doing here it's spit out exactly what we will, we will have a one or two really tough groups and then we have also a few that will be kind of uh, blah and here's the result of the draw and you see here um the teams i sort them here by pot uh, on the on the left you see how they were ranked by uefa another really weird thing we uh, see the first group 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 and let, let's just talk about before we do any analysis i think germany will actually like that draw because there are no scary opponents in there you could have gotten out of pot b yes um a pot two i think hung hunger is probably one of of, of the stronger ones you could have gotten austria turkey Denmark teams that are uh, but Hungary is right there so I think that that's right Scotland uh well Scotland had done a great qualification it is by no means a scary opponent that they could have gotten they could have gotten Croatia they could have gotten the, ne the Netherlands Scotland is actually a pretty decent opponent at that but I think that's the danger and they will face Scotland in the opener and then you get Switzerland a Switzerland team that is on the downturn in my opinion so uh, honestly I think they should consider themselves quite lucky to get through there. Uh, Germany should win this group. Group B, I already said it, is the group of death. Uh, not really death, it's the strongest group because you know the best third place teams go, go through and we'll look at that as well. Spain, Croatia, Italy join Albania. Albania, that's really the worst thing uh, that could have happened to them. On the other side, they have an Italian manager and I think they will like their chances because they're complete under underdogs. It's a little bit like Hungary at the last Euros uh you can play freely because the pressure is on the others england i think also got a relatively decent draw um yes denmark and serbia are probably um opponents that could hurt you on their day but slovenia similar is also one of the you know less glamorous teams in the draw this is similar to the germany group i think england is, should be very very happy with, with with the group between denmark and serbia group d I already said it. Austria is not happy that they have France and, and the Nets. And then you have also, uh, at least, uh, we would have hoped for the path C, at least. I think path A is probably better than path B because I didn't really necessarily want to have Ukraine. But, you know, Poland or Wales are two opponents that Austria has historically not done very well against. But on the other side, you know, honestly, the way Austria is playing at the moment... I don't give them much chance against France, but I think the Dutch, you can get it. And I think you're fav fav favorites, whoever comes out of the playoff. So I actually like the chances of finishing second, although the computer will say something different. Uh, what also is interesting for uh, Austria, and I'm sorry, it's the only uh, nation where I know for now, is that first you play France in Dusseldorf, but then you have two games in Berlin. Uh, two games if the Netherlands and Poland qualify where I think this will be a lot of lot of uh, this will be half half at least there will be many spectators there because Poland is the uh, next building and Dutch have always a, a, a strong traveling contingent and so does Austria so uh, that that makes it actually quite quite exciting it's also relatively nice planning the logistics two games in Berlin should be fine and then the two groups that are just the dots of the entire draw Belgium Romania Slovakia and playoff winner B most likely Ukraine, as, as, as I said. This is a field day for Belgium. Romania, Slovakia doesn't really care. Get me excited. Uh, if there's Ukraine, they are great. But if it's any of the other, this group becomes even worse. Uh, group F is maybe a little bit more deceiving. Still, Portugal should have a field day with that group as well. Turkey have played well. The Czechs are never to be underestimated. So I think this group is just a tad stronger than Group E. But then you have the winner of uh, Path C in, in there. And unless this is Greece, uh, it's a newbie and a newbie that will be like Albania, a rank outsider. So also not a really, really strong group, uh, if you're honest, where Belgium and Portugal should go through freely. So this is my first initial thoughts on it. Let's look at it. Uh, when we look at it uh, with team strengths, I mean, it's... Um, 
Solidis for us, what it said. I mean, Group A, you see Germany ahead of Switzerland, then Hungary and Scotland is the ratings at this very, 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 very moment. We have also uh, Spain ahead of Italy, ahead of Croatia, Albania. You see, Albania is clearly the outsider. So group A, Germany the favorite, the other three kind of level here. Uh, Spain the favorite, tied between Croatia and Italy, Albania, clear out outside. Group C, England, clear favorite, Denmark slightly over served. Group D, yes, the Dutch have still a stronger rating than Austria, which I totally to to understand. But the Dutch have not been convincing in qualifying, whereas I think Austria can do something there. I, I, I really feel relatively strongly, but uh, just by the rating, Austria is just ahead of the playoff winner from path A. Group B, as I said, Belgium, overwhelming favorites. The others relatively, relatively even, and the ratings for the playoff winner is basically weighted ratings with the probability that they will qualify. So I took the ratings and weighted them with the probability that they will qualify. So for instance, for playoff winner path A, Estonia only features with a four. The Estonia rating only features with four percent. So this will change when we know a little bit more. And Group F, yes, as I said, Portugal favorites, but Turkey and Czech Republic a little bit better, a little, a little bit closer it's between those two. That was from Euro 2016 as well. Playoff winner path C. Is the lowest rated in here regardless what, what what will happen now having that and before we look further into winners and losers i think it's also a good thing to really understand the draw and to understand the impact uh how will this all pan out when we get deeper into the tournament so this see this as my first official prediction here and we'll go rel by the by, by 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 the rating. So what well, you see with the bars here, this is how the groups will finish. So we have in group A, we have Germany ahead of Switzerland, Hungary, and Scotland are out, but this is only by rating. I I personally no don't no, no, no necessarily would pick Scotland to get eliminated. I just wanna put this ahead. But you see that uh, the latter three are relatively close together. When you look at the bar with qualifying for uh, the round of 16, it's really 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 tight between those also for the average points. In group B. Uh, Spain, good ahead of Italy and Croatia. Those are three that were in the Nations League finals last year. So I have, or this year, have to have that, that, that in mind. But Spain, Italy and Croatia, all relatively safe in qualifying because you have Albania that you can beat up on. You will not beat up on them, I want to say. But, you know, at least um, mathematically, this is where you get a lot of, a lot of points. So those three should actually sail relatively easy through it uh england huge favorites 5.6 points on ever on average uh that's the highest as high as the um for groups e and f as as, as we'll see denmark is slightly ahead of serbian and slovenia then france netherlands austria note that austria only has 3.5 points it's already the lowest here and we will see so having two strong opponents in there is not necessarily uh going in their favor mathematically the playoff winner uh, being last as in the other ones, Belgium, Romania, Slovakia, Portugal, Turkey, Czech Republic. If you look now at the rank of the third place teams, you see Slovakia and Austria, bye bye. Yeah, I was not happy to see that, but mathematically it makes total sense because Austria will not make many points against Pot uh, the first strongest and second strongest team on paper. I say it again, I feel quite comfortable that Austria will actually do something in this group. But for now, they're out. So. With that, we have the bracket set up as follows, and third place teams are a little bit of a uh, cra of, of a crash. But you see, Spain and Germany, if should they if they win a group, meet in the quarterfinal. That's interesting. Portugal and the Netherlands would meet again in Germany. That was something. Nuremberg, yeah, this time will be the Battle of Hamburg. But you already see that the upper part, yeah, there's Spain in there, but the other ones. I don't want to discount Portugal, but the other ones are maybe not not strong. That's on the bottom. Belgium, Croatia. That was something last year. Yeah, not too long ago. Pretty much two today. France against Turkey. Also, that was a qualifying matchup that Tur Turkey won. No, not that easy. But we would have Belgium against France. That's a pretty big, big one. And then England and Italy in a replay of the final. I don't count Italy for much for this tournament because they're still in a finding phase. But you never know what you get from, it from, uh, from Italy. But basically, you have the two strongest teams, which are England and France, on a crash course in the uh, semifinal. And that's why they will not really like that draw. And we have at the moment a France against Spain final, which I think would be really, really interesting. And so with all that, having understood now, not only that you have to look at the opponents, but also how it pans out for the further, further tournament, we can now look at the impact. And this is basically the average change uh, over or over changes in reaching the different stages for this tournament. You see actually that Germany, despite having a necessary, uh, not necessarily a, a bad group, 
Given that they have Spain a big stumbling block in India, I have a slight ne negative. Hung Hungary and especially Scotland don't like the draw. Albania <laughs> hammered. Croatia also hammered, where Spain and Italy actually slight advantage because it actually uh, works out a little bit in favor. Italy is the second strongest team in that group, at least on paper. Very close with Croatia, though. Uh, England, Denmark, Serbia, okay. Slovenia does, doesn't like it. You see France doesn't like the draw. The Netherlands a little a little bit more because, you know, you got Austria, you got a playoff winner. So it's not that, that bad. And groups E and groups F are relatively happy, except for the playoff winner of path C. And then we look at the current standings for the, for the favorites. It did not change much. It's just that Spain got a little bit lifted over poor, poor Portugal because poor Portugal is kind of backed into a corner where the you know Netherlands and Spain have to have, have, have to face Belgium, Germany, and Netherlands. Italy went ahead of Croatia, which I found really really interesting. But you know, a head to head might help there as well. Hungary flip flopped uh, Austria. Uh, we see Scotland actually lost quite some spots in the draw, and Ukraine actually made it in there despite not having Quark or qualified, which means if Ukraine should qualify, they actually should should should, should, should up this uh, standing by quite some. So this is all on the draw that I could give. I have to say it was a really, really interesting uh, draw. I'm really looking forward to the Euros already. Of course, I will be on the track of getting jerseys for each and every one of the teams. I'm already a very, very good track. I think only three max I need to get new, but hey, so be it. In any case, I would like to know how you like the draw and how do you like the chances of your team uh, progressing? Uh, where do you agree and disagree with the ratings? Give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. Subscribe to my channel if you want to see more. Talk to you soon. Bye. Hey there. I really hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, here are some videos and playlists that you may enjoy too. Also, please consider subscribing to my channel and hit the little bell icon so you get notified whenever something happens in my soccer universe. And with that, have a wonderful day. Bye.